Welcome the new Super F-22 Raptor, a remarkable $7.8 billion investment. The F-22 Raptor, the U.S. Air Force's flagship fifth-generation aircraft, is often praised as one of the most advanced fighter jets on the planet. With its blend of stealth, supercruise, unparalleled agility, and state-of-the-art avionics, this aircraft marks a significant leap in combat capability. Join us to explore how this cutting-edge jet transforms aerial warfare and redefines power in the sky. And stay tuned to find out if its hefty price tag is worth it. The Raptor handles air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, essential for the modern Air Force. Despite numerous advancements in military technology, this aircraft's unmatched capabilities have earned it an almost invincible status. However, its future became hot during the Pentagon's fiscal year 2025 budget discussions. To cut costs, the U.S. Air Force proposed retiring 250 older aircraft including 32 F-22 Raptors that were no longer combat ready to save $2 billion. But the House Armed Services Committee intervened, blocking these fifth generation fighters' retirement and stressing their ongoing importance for future battles. A congressional aide stated that keeping the F-22 fleet operational is crucial until the next generation air dominance fighter jet is ready. The decision to keep several F-22s active reflects that the Raptor remains the top air superiority fighter even after two decades of service. This decision wasn't taken lightly. Lockheed Martin, the company behind the F-22, halted its production line in 2011 to focus on the F-35 Lightning II fighter. Consequently, the F-22 fleet has faced significant maintenance challenges due to a shortage of spare parts forcing Air Force technicians to salvage components from older aircraft to keep the fleet operational. Extending the F-22 service life will cost the Air Force several billion dollars, but Congress believes it's worth it since no other aircraft can match the F-22's performance. From its production start in 2005 to its end in 2011, the Air Force acquired 186 F-22 Raptors. With no new F-22S being built, what the Air Force has is all there is. Less than 130 aircraft are operational, with exact figures being classified. Despite the Chinese military's ongoing efforts to develop technologies and strategies to detect and track the F-22 Raptor and other U.S. stealth aircraft, this fighter jet remains the best option for air-to-air -air combat. The F-22's sophisticated sensor suite allows pilots to track, identify, shoot, and eliminate air threats before being detected. How amazing is that? The Air Force plans to replace the Raptor with the NAD Fighter, a sixth generation aircraft offering both manned and unmanned options. The NAD aims to be the most advanced air superiority fighter jet in history. However, since it's still years away, the Air Force will continue relying on its current fleet, including the F-22. Even decades after its introduction, the F-22 still dominates the skies, earning its title as the king of air superiority. One key feature that makes the F-22 formidable in a dogfight is its thrust vectoring capabilities. The aircraft's two engines have specially designed nozzles that can move vertically, directing its 70,000 pounds of thrust in one direction, even if the plane is heading in another. This allows the F-22 to perform stunning aerial maneuvers and maintain an extremely high angle of attack during close-range combat. With the ability to reach speeds of over 1,500 miles per hour and cut through the sky with its stealth technology, the F-22 is genuinely the ultimate king of the sky. But that's not all that makes it indeed the Air King. The F-22 can also perform the J-turn. This move lets the Raptor quickly change direction by combining a high angle of attack with a roll. It's a handy maneuver that helps the pilot dodge enemy fire or gain the upper hand in a dogfight. Another fascinating maneuver is the Cobra. During this, the pilot raises the aircraft's nose to a vertical position, momentarily slowing it down. The aircraft then quickly returns to level flight. This sudden change in speed and direction can confuse enemies chasing the Raptor, giving it a tactical advantage or a chance to escape. Then there's the split S maneuver. Here, the pilot rolls the aircraft upside down and performs a descending half loop ending up level but flying in the opposite direction at a lower altitude. 
The Raptor can also execute other impressive moves like the pedal turn, loaded roll, slow speed pass, and tail slide. These maneuvers showcase the F-22's advanced design and control systems, making it one of the most formidable fighter jets in the sky. Regarding weapons, the F-22 is ready for any combat situation. Its internal weapons bay can carry six AIM-120 AMRAMs and two AIM-9 Sidewinders. This setup helps maintain its stealth profile while preparing for long and short-range fights. For missions requiring close air support or precision strikes, the F-22 can be equipped with two JDAMs, or eight small diameter bombs. It also features an M61A2 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon mounted inside the right wing root, hidden by a retractable door. This diverse arsenal ensures the F-22 is always prepared for any combat scenario, making it a versatile and powerful fighter jet. The Air Force is planning a significant investment of $7.8 billion to upgrade the F-22 Raptor. This funding will be used for research, development, testing, and essential upgrades. While the F-22 is often hailed as the best fighter jet ever, it lacks some features in newer models like the F-35 and F-15EX. For the past four decades, the Air Force has focused on maintaining a fleet of top-tier fighter jets starting with the F-15 Eagle and later the F-22 Raptor to ensure air superiority in future conflicts. However, with advancements from the Russian Su-57 front and the Chinese J-20 Mighty Dragon, the Air Force recognizes the need for a new aircraft. The upcoming sixth-generation fighter jet is expected to enter service in the early 2030s. Considering that the F-22 started service in 2005, a planned retirement around 2030 would mean that it would have one of the shortest service spans of any modern U.S. military aircraft. Retaining older planes as new ones become available is expected, so the push to retire older F-22S wasn't unexpected. Investing in upgrades for the F-22 indicates the Air Force's intention to keep them operational, probably for another decade. But there are also some challenges. Lieutenant General Richard G. Moore Jr., the Air Force's Vice Chief of Staff for Plans and Programs, noted that Lockheed lacks engineers. He explained that initiating such an upgrade effort might require pulling engineering talent from the F-35 program, which might not be a worthwhile trade. U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin mentioned the plan to upgrade older F-22 ETS, emphasizing the need to keep the most combat-capable jets in action while managing resources for those too costly or time-consuming to upgrade. This approach shows the Air Force's strategy to maximize the effectiveness and lifespan of its advanced fighters while carefully managing budget and time constraints. The Air Force aims to maintain a powerful and efficient air combat force by focusing on the most capable aircraft. This strategy guarantees that the existing fleet remains powerful and prepared for any challenge, even as new technologies and aircraft emerge. However, Air Force officials have emphasized that keeping older F-22s operational shouldn't hinder the development of new aircraft or negatively impact the active F-35 Lightning II program. Now, there are concerns that the Block 20 Raptors might not hold up against China's J-20 Mighty Dragon Fighters. Lieutenant General Moore dismissed suggestions that these F-22 Block 20 fighters should be used for training, stating they would never be part of the combat force as they lack modern communications, don't fire the latest weapons, and don't have up-to-date electronic warfare capabilities. On paper, the J-20 boasts several advantages over the F-22, and the older Block 20 versions may not meet the U.S. Air Force's needs for air superiority. However, the modernized Raptors still possess the capability to challenge the Mighty Dragon effectively. The F-22 will remain crucial for the Air Force until the new NAD fighter is ready to take flight. The NAD represents the future of air combat, with advancements set to surpass even the most modernized F-22s and F-35 AKS. As these new technologies are developed, the Air Force will gradually transition to a more advanced fleet capable of addressing emerging threats and maintaining air superiority. Is the hefty price tag on this new Super F-22 Raptor worth it? Tell us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more updates on cutting-edge military technology. Thank you for watching!